Welcome all, welcome all to another edition of the NFC South versus the NFL. NFL edition. Man, we got a Thursday night game for y'all. It is Thursday. Prime video version. <laughs> <laughs> Prime video. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I, would, I think all the games going forward probably going to look like that, right? So right. we got the Kansas City Chiefs at home. Hosting. Yes. The Los Angeles Chargers. I mean, this is probably, I mean, you couldn't ask for probably a better Thursday night game to kick off, I guess, the prime video section. Man, let's get it. Yeah. Let's get man, the NFL heard our complaints, man. They've been saying these Thursday night games are all washed, get rid of them. There's no competition. It's all doo doo, all this stuff, right? They give us a great opening game with. The Super Bowl champs and the Rams and the team that people have selected as being the favorite to go to the Super Bowl and win in the Buffalo Bills. Great game, right? And now they follow it up with Patrick Mahomes, the greatest player on the rise, the young pup that's got a ring and been in two Super Bowls and all the other things, right? With the young buck coming along for the Chargers and Mr. Justin Herbert and everybody's praising him. Top five quarterback this, top five quarterback that. I mean, the NFL heard us, DJ. They heard <laughs> us. So I don't, I don't know about the future schedule. But we just gonna talk about this one, man. But they heard us with two great games. This one here, Arrowhead Stadium. Everybody knows. If you know me and know DJ, DJ been saying the Kansas City Chiefs are my second favorite team. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. He been saying it. Shoot, this boy love, I, I, you know, he loves talking about some goddamn Kansas City if he ain't talking about no damn Panthers. Shoot, but uh, well, with this matchup, man, right now, you know, Kansas City, you know, Chiefs are favored at four at home. We know how Vegas does. You know, you get a couple extra points being at home. So this is close to a pick em game. Um, it's looking like there's going to be a couple injuries out here. Everybody saw what happened with the hammy with, you know, Keenan Allen. Um, that's the big one. I know JC Jackson's been very questionable. It might be a game time decision, but right now, if I'm still looking at it, it's probably an out. Um, unless they really want to put him out there. You know, Trent McDuffie, he's hurt for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's on IR. Uh, promising rookie they thought was gonna come in. Um, they're Buckner, uh, the kicker. Yeah, he's out. Um, and also, I and I, uh, one of their guards, I think Trey Smith. Trey Smith, second year. Um, he got hurt. So he's questionable going into the game as well. All right. Um, all right, Mike. Looking at this matchup, man, they're both coming off of big wins. I mean, obviously, Kansas, uh, excuse me, yeah, Kansas City Chiefs <laughs> took care of, you know, the Arizona Cardinals. They, right. they, they obliterated them, right? Um, the Los Angeles, excuse me, the Las Vegas Raiders. Tried to make a little surge at the end, come back on the Chargers. Well, I think got a little conservative in the second half and almost paid for it with your Derek Carr coming back. Oh, wow, don't do that. And beat. <laughs> Mike, what you say? This matchup, what we looking at here? Yeah, um, I like Andy Reid a ton. Um, and I got to go to coaching. Andy Reid's in my opinion, an established coach has been in many of these game situations. I know the uh, Chargers coach is second year in, and he has a very good football team. It's just, I can't go against Patrick Mahomes, boy. He lost Tyreek Hill. They put another 10 out there and say, guess what? We got another 10. Pacheco? Pacheco. Out there balling, man. I was shocked. I seen people yeah. in fantasy picking him, and I'm like, whoa, why y'all picking him? He's not going to be the starter. Yeah, he's definitely getting those carries, and he looks good out there, man. So I, what another one bites the dust, they just roll him in, roll him in, roll him in. Patrick Mahomes, just give him a guy that can run and catch the ball, and he's going to find them. They're going to ball out. Their defense has gotten better, much more improved. Give me Arrowhead Stadium, Kansas City Chiefs, especially with no Keenan Allen, which charge. Mm. Okay. Yeah, like you said, you know, obviously Andy Reid is definitely the cream of the crop when it comes to coaching, right? I mean, this man from Philly to, you know, obviously now with Arizona has been a very formidable and one of the better coaches through his tenure of coaching and has continued to look like 
that's gonna happen because people count him out. Tariq, you know, Tariq Hill gone. They try to make it sound like Patrick Mahomes was only as good as Tariq Holmes. You know, I mean, excuse me, uh, Tariq Hill. Yeah. By the way, you know, they try to play in their, this narrative with it. You know, they they start knocking, you know, Patrick Mahomes down as a quarterback because of this. And what do he do? Five touchdowns later, people are like, oh, you know, oh, oh, we always believed in Mr. Patrick Mahomes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Now everybody back on his jock, right? I mean, which it always should be that. Patrick Mahomes is, if not the best quarterback in the NFL, one, two. Obviously, there's a little conversation up there with Josh Allen, which I don't really think there's a conversation. I think the only person you really can argue with him right now is Tom Brady. And we're going to find out how far if he dropped at all when it comes to that. So Patrick Mahomes is definitely the best quarterback in the NFL. And you got the rises. I already mentioned Josh Allen. You got Justin Herbert, which some people might think is a little premature, you know, with putting him where he needs to be. But I mean, look, this man came out against the Raiders and, you know, check damn near every box that you would expect this man to, you know, look at it. Because, you know, people are looking at me like, oh, David Carr is pretty good quarterback. It's that third. And when you look at the duel, Justin Herbert <laughs> embarrassed the man. You know, was, you know, from every standpoint, three touchdowns, 279 yards. I mean, the kid continues to ascend from his rookie year, you know. Um, with zero interceptions. Be, what's that? that that's, with zero interceptions, man, that's impressive, dog. Right. And let's not act like he had a little pressure. He was able to move. You know, he was able to throw on a run. He looked very comfortable, poised, and everything. You know, they didn't make it easy. Same thing with Patrick Mahomes. Cardinals didn't make it easy for him. You know, for everything that it looked like, Patrick Mahomes makes stuff look easy. But let's not act like the Arizona Cardinals with their formidable front wasn't getting after. It. You know what I'm saying? And they were. They were hurrying him, and it didn't matter. This one was still choom, choom, choom. <laughs> I guess both these games with these quarterbacks were very impressive. Now you flip it over to the defensive side, you know, with both sides, when you're looking at both of them, they both put up very good um, tape when it comes to what they put out there. Obviously with the uh, Chargers, you got Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack is going to be the headlines when you're talking about them. And then on the other side, when you're talking about defensive lines, which me and Mike are both big defensive line people, right? You know, we really, you know, football is won and lost by the trenches. You got that boy George Calais, Calais out there. You got Chris Jones, who's you know a very good interior lineman, and you also got Frank Clark on the outside. I mean, those three players with the Chiefs are very formidable over there, right? So it's definitely going to be a little bit, of, I think, a little different for Justin uh, Herbert in this game. And I do think the same thing. It's going to come down to the secondaries. You know, I'm yeah. trying to set this up. You know, obviously you got Travis uh, Kelsey who went off last week, right? That's going to be a Derwin James matchup with that. Um, Juju Smith-Schuster. Yeah, I Juju went played. off. And Mark White, he touched the ball a couple times as well. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, was, it was spread throughout the team, DJ. They, they spread the ball around. And both of these teams did that. That's what was great about it. I mean, Travis Kelsey, yeah. of course, went way over 100 yards and was the standout player. But every, by both of these quarterbacks utilize all of their playmakers. And that's what's going to make this a fun game because it's going to be hard for these defenses to figure out, okay, who to key in on because so they got so fun. many weapons. And so I think, and especially with Patrick Mahomes, you said something that hit the nail, man. They got Justin Herbert on the rise and people kind of forgot about Patrick Mahomes since he lost Tyreek Hill and he started to decline. I think that's going to be a motivating factor for this game with Patrick Mahomes. He's seen that. He's seen the quarterback rating. He know he got his deep, sorry, his diva brother and wife <laughs> over there doing all of this in his ear. And I'm sure he's seeing that. Patrick right, Mahomes right. was below Justin Herbert. Remember that? In the QB ranking somebody did. We were mind blown from it. So, a couple of them. There was a couple yeah, of them. Yeah, a few of them. So I think he's going to take this one personal. I really do. Right, right, and you know, I, I you know, I was trying to set this up, and I, I, I was, I was starting to lead Chargers, um, because I think the Chargers, from a defensive standpoint, yeah, as of right now, I would say they got the better defense, and you, you know, obviously yeah. we beat Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl, and if you're gonna beat this team, I think they match up well with the weapons that uh, Kansas City has, though they're very good players. Not, there's nothing as great like there was with Three Hill, right. But Arrowhead Thursday night, I got to take Kansas City. I got to take Kansas City, man. I, um, yeah, I know I'm shocking Mike. I love Justin Herbert. I love him. 
You know, I'm a big <laughs> fan. I love the team that they got over there. I'm gonna go with Kansas City, man. I'm gonna go with Kansas City, um, but I won't be surprised because I want to see him in a primetime game, how he's going to act in a hostile place like Arrowhead. I haven't seen it yet. I know what Patrick Mahomes is, and, you know, it's hard to go against that. I'm going with the Kansas City Chiefs, dog. I'm going with Kansas City. Yeah. Okay, well, we got another sweep here. Kansas City Chiefs. I I'm with you, though. That defense. Oh, never mind. We ain't, ain't going to keep going. <laughs> I like the Chargers defense a lot. Oh. If they get after uh, Patrick Mahomes, it's going to be it's going to be a tighter matchup than I think many people because I think a lot of people are going to take Kansas City in this matchup and it makes sense. Yeah, I mean, what, with, like you said, yeah, go ahead. That, well, the linebackers to me is kind of you know in the air, but but in this type of game, that front and your secondary is going to be extremely important. And so when you looked at it, DJ, who has the better of those two and it's the Chargers. So that's going to make it much harder for my homeboy. But my homeboy can just, he different. Exactly. And, and that's what that's what makes it a little different. I mean, look, they got players like Kyle Van Noy out there. Uh, Derwin James looked phenomenal first game. He only lit up. And they put him, I think, more on the outside. They're going to match him up with Kelsey. So yeah. that's going to be a matchup to watch. Yeah. Like, if you want to look for a matchup to watch, it's definitely going to be Kelsey. Because Kelsey went the hell off against uh, Arizona. And they're mm -hmm. going to put a very, you know, Derwin James is a very good player when he's healthy. He is healthy right now. Right? So, right. That, you know, there's so many, there's so many things this matchup that just, just are on the tree. We can go for 30 minutes about this shit. I ain't going to yeah, do it. We, we didn't even mention Elkler. Oh, yeah, you're right. God, this is yeah. going to be a great game. Because who, who going to match up with it? Man, look. Right. Right. And obviously, um, Keenan Allen being out. How is Mike uh, Williams is going to, you know, fill that void? Right. Really even better. You don't even know. You know what I'm saying? It's just so much this game, but I'm going with Kansas City Chiefs in this matchup right now. Yeah, me too. All right. Hey, let Ready? us know what y'all think. Let us know yep. what y'all think. It's going to be a great game. Hopefully, y'all tuned in watching this one, man, because it is, it's going to be a great football game I'm tonight. Ready. Yeah. I'm on, baby. <laughs> but, hey, man. Like always, man. It's your boy, DJ. You know, part of NC South versus NFL. I'm always here with my boy, Mike, man. We appreciate our love, support, and all that good stuff, man. Yes, sir. Game, Don't forget man. to hit that like, subscribe, share, notification button, all that good stuff, man. Yes, sir. Enjoy the game. Black skin, black faces, black people make black magic. So